Hey everyone, welcome to the West Coast Barbell Club exercise library. Right now we're going to have a quick chat about the dumbbell incline bench, okay? At the moment here where this video has been filmed, I haven't got access to an incline bench. Uh, however, I have got some video footage of me doing some dumbbell incline bench out of another gym from earlier this year, which will follow this video, okay? Admittedly, I think in this video I have a slightly more uh, upright bench position that I'd recommend for most people to do their dumbbell incline bench, more akin to a dumbbell high incline bench, okay? Uh, but for you setting these up, if you have dumbbell incline bench in your program, let's aim to set up the bench around a 45 degree angle. If you're slightly above or slightly below that, you know, that's totally fine. Uh, you're also going to want to find out what feels best for you to allow you to target the chest. Most will fill these through the upper chest, they'll often say, um, and that's what we want, uh, as opposed to feeling it through the shoulders, which my knee will often experience from a more upright bench position. Okay, um, so what we want to get out of these um, is either a conventional pressing action or a rotating pressing action, much like I demonstrated in the previous dumbbell flat bench video. Whichever feels best for you uh, is the one you want to go with, uh, but you can experiment with both over time. Okay. Uh, your contact point uh, with the dumbbells is going to be slightly higher versus the flat dumbbell bench and you're still going to want to keep your wrist stacked above your elbow throughout as much of the movement as possible. Okay. Other than that, it's very similar to a conventional dumbbell bench. Okay. Um, but uh, like I said, if you have any questions off the back of the video that follows this one of me demonstrating uh, some dumbbell incline bench work, uh, then please ask and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.